expressionism activity, you'll hopefully fill out the day one background, five facts you learned from the presentation. I wonder why I was interested in, I was not interested in. That was from what we learned in the presentation. But next we're gonna watch a clip from the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. And this is gonna be similar to what we did with Ms. Malenich when we stop the film, pause it and talk about it. So here are some things you're looking for in this clip that we're gonna watch. What is the mise-en-scene like? Mise-en-scene is a film term, which is the design of the stage around the actors. So you'll take notes on that and I'll help you out as we watch the clip. Costuming, what are the actors wearing and what vibe does it give off? Transitions, how does it transition from one scene to the next? We're talking about dissolved swipes. We talked about that with Ms. Milanich. Camera angles, how is the film projected, I'm sorry, the uh, camera sort of in relation to what it's filming. So are things tilted, are they far away, are they up close? How is music employed? These are silent films. So dialogue wasn't invented yet. So music actually plays a big role. They would play these records in the theater along with the movie. And then acting, how do the actors express their emotion? This is probably the first silent film you've watched. So this could be a totally new thing for you. But Cabinet of Dr. Caligari is coming up next. I'll pause throughout. This is a carnival in town in Germany. Hopefully you can notice in the background what the mise-en-scene looks like, how things are angled. That could be your first piece of notes. Also, the town is sort of drawn in a way that is a little more twisted and uh, not realistic, expressionistic. <laughs> All right, so here's her main villain, it's Dr. Caligari. You can see his makeup, his outfit is very intense, and he's gonna set up his booth at the carnival um, to show off his synambulist Cesare. <laughs> So that transition right there was a um, iris transition. So that was actually a pioneering technique where the camera sort of zooms in on something it wants you to focus on, almost like an eye shutting. So that's an important thing to take notes for. So this is when um, the plot really kicks up of this movie. We have two young men who go to see uh, Dr. Caligari's presentation of the Cenambulus. This would be like a carnival that comes into town. Um, 
and all of a sudden the tone changes a little bit. We get a little bit of craziness with that music in the last scene, but this is where things really pick up. to the scene of the um, presentation of Cesare. So he says, step right in here for the first time ever. You can see Cesare, the 23-year-old Sonambulist. Sonambulist translates to sleepwalker. Miracle Cesare slept who has slept day and night for 23 years without interruption. Before your very eyes, Cesare will waken from his death-like sleep. Step right in. He's charging people to get here. gloves to really make it pop on the camera. And this is the cabinet. It's a coffin where Cesare is kept. You can see Cesare's costume is really important as well. All black, thick under eye stuff going on. This is an iris effect as well. Cesare, do you hear me? I'm calling for you. I, Dr. Caligari, your master. Awake for a moment. Got a close up shot here. the top acting you could say it's very intense two main characters down here. They're young German men who wanted to go see this show. Ladies and gentlemen, Cesare the Sonambulist will answer all of your questions. So he's like a bizarre psychic zombie man. So one of our main 
character steps in here and asks him a question. You can see the acting is really over the top here. But all the, all the costumes are dark, show the darkness. He asks Cesare the question. How long do I have to live? See the music is changing here too. Until dawn tomorrow, this is where everything shifts. You can see the intense reaction on his face there. It's either fear or laughter, it's tough to say. <laughs> Sent here is totally sort of twisted up. Uh, that kind of everything is sort of tilted. You ever seen a Tim Burton film? It gets a lot from this genre. And we're going to stop there for the, the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. So if you're interested in watching the rest of this film, it's featured on this website called um, Internet Movie Archive, and it's also on YouTube. Uh, there's different versions with German text. There's a big twist ending at the end of this movie that I won't ruin for you um, if you are interested. But what you should do now is you should take your notes from what we just talked about. So that would be the mise-en-scene, the costuming, the transitions, the camera angles, the music, and the acting, and jot down what you see.